Fixing that rush with the help of special offers and of course, this episode means live stream giveaways for you. What is going on fellow fans of Clash of Clans? That's right, today's Clash of Clans video is brought to you by the Amazon App Store. Remember, you can access the Amazon App Store from your Fire tablet or download the Amazon App Store for Android app on your Android device. Download and play your favorite mobile games like Guns of Glory, a multiplayer RTS that lets you raise your own powerful army, build a massive castle, and of course, construct an unstoppable airship to team up with your friends and defeat ferocious beasts and enemies. Also, there is a special promo from Fun Plus, the creator of Guns and Glory, starting on May 4th when you purchase the $49.99 Amazon May 4th special bundle on Guns of Glory through the Amazon App Store, iOS, or Google Play Store, you get a LEGO Star Wars Millennium Falcon Micro Fighter Building Kit for free. Limited supplies available. This offer is exclusively available in the United States. There are similar offers in participating regions. And now, let's get to Clash of Clans. It is episode two of Gem Fix Max That Rushed Town Hall 12, my impossibly rushed Terrible, awful, yes I know, Town Hall 12. But it gets a little bit better every single day because while I'm not doing this, you know, purely with just hard work, we're throwing some gems in there. Uh, we're doing it slowly but quickly. Does that make any sense? Probably not. But anyway, okay, so a lot of this video is going to be shown at 2x speed because I cover a lot today and I don't want the video to be like an hour long because sometimes if I go on and on and on, I'll get distracted or I'll talk about other things and the video will be real much longer than I want it to be. So we're going to try to keep it a little bit shorter. So if you're playing this really fast right now, you probably can't even understand what I'm saying, but that's okay. I'd say slow down, but you probably don't even need to slow down right now because I'm going to go ahead and slow down what I'm saying right now. Although the gameplay is going to stay rather uh, quick. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna show some of this gameplay faster at double speed as we progress through. To be honest, I think this covers somewhere around two to three weeks of the season. Uh, for those of you guys that follow the channel, you'll know that I did spend the last week or so in Poland, and we were casting the Clash of Clans World Championship qualifiers from Katowice, Poland. If you missed that, man, you missed out. But don't worry because we will be recapping some of the best bases and the best attacks in the world in coming episodes in the following week or two after this video. So, all right, let's get into it and talk a little bit more about what's happening to this base. And I gotta tell you, I'm having fun. I'm really enjoying working on this base. And part of it is the progress is kind of sped up. Now, obviously we bought the gold pass for this account. And like I said in the last episode, we will keep track of expenditures. At the end of every episode, I will give you a status report that shows how much I have spent money-wise and time-wise on this account trying to repair it. And I have to admit, I already see why most people don't keep track of this stuff precisely because I I don't want to know. I, I really don't, but because I know that you want to know, uh, we will keep track of it. And uh, I pretty much am going to be buying every single special offer that shows up. Because even if nothing else. Now, I, I will have to buy some gems, obviously. But these special offers are good deals. And, and there's no other way around it. If you're going to spend money on the game, this is generally the way to do it. So, and I'm, again, I'm not suggesting you do this. I have great appreciation for purists out there that have never spent a penny on the game and more power to you. That's just not my thing. So we're going to go ahead and pick up all the special offers. Every time they show up in the shop, you better believe I'm popping them. And uh, we've got at least, I think, like three buying sprees this week where I went ahead and bought every package that I possibly could. If you'll remember last episode, I did buy a 14,000 gem pack and I've been using those gems, uh, mostly one gem donations, also occasionally finishing armies. If I'm live streaming, I don't wanna sit around and have to wait for the army to finish up training. So occasionally I will finish the gemming of the army. So hey, speaking of gems, let's go baby. Free gems are the best gems. They are extra, uh, powerful or something or yeah so gems from achievements gems from clearing obstacles are super sweet and so we picked up a few extras right there i guess that's about it 
for now. All right, so 108 war stars. Let's go. Speaking of, I'm doing war. You might have seen War With Myself. That is a whole series as well. This is the lead account in that clan. Um, basically, unintentionally engineered, if you guys are wondering. Obviously, it, it seems very engineered. It was never designed to be that. I didn't start this account to be an engineered account. I actually started it to do a challenge with a guy you might know. That's right, the son, Chief Pat. And that's not happening anymore. So it's been revived and we're out trying to max out Town Hall 12. So I've got 410 League Medals. We're not going to use those yet. Uh, you know, I could obviously level up a couple levels on the heroes, but I figure let's at least get to like the 40s or so before we use those just to get a little bit better value. So once again, like I said before, these replays are going to go at double speed because nobody has time for all this to sit around and watch me raid a whole bunch of times. But I just wanted to say that I've been finding a lot of 12s, which kind of sucks for me because I'm like a baby... 12, but the good thing is I have pretty strong troops. I have maxed out E-Dragons, I have maxed out Balloons, the Minions, I think we're actually going to eventually level those up. And so the raids generally go like this. We can hold our own against weaker Town Hall 12s and picking up like a million plus loot every single time doesn't hurt. Working our way through the Season Pass Challenge. Like I said, I bought the Gold Pass and I will buy the Gold Pass on this account this month but right now uh again this is looking back uh you know about two weeks ago as uh, i was working my way through and to be honest i have a ton of footage today i took what was i think like oh gosh it was like four to six hours of footage of this account and whittled it down to just this video and i know it's going a little bit longer than normal uh but i just wanted to cover some of the things that have happened over the past two weeks in this account and to be honest in my life if you care you know let's talk a little bit about all those travels and uh so this was an example of me hitting a base that was super strong i mean obviously it's not completely maxed out there's some things that were being upgraded but it was still a very strong town hall 12 and uh yeah maybe i was a little bit overconfident i still grabbed the two star we're happy with that we're gonna drop the heroes down I had a, a boosted heroes as well and uh, we, we're trying to push trophies up just to get to, like, Champion League. So, uh, yeah, so speaking of what happened to me. So I did spend about a week in Poland. Uh, it is a blast getting to go there to meet all of those amazing clans. I've got, like I said, tons of footage from the World Championship qualifiers. And I'm going to try to segment it down into separate episodes about different subject matter. I am, by the way, planning on showing you guys some, many, not some, tons of the best Town Hall 12 bases in the world. And you know what? You don't have to you don't have to pay me on Patreon for the bases. I'm just going to show them to you. And they are amazing bases that players spent literally hours upon hours designing and testing. And although some may say, "Oh, they're burned, Galadon." Come on, let's re really think about that one. Okay? They're not burned. They've been seen by some players but they were built by pros and attacked by pros. If you take them out into the average war scene, they're going to do extremely well. Uh, but well, we'll get into that when I make those episodes and we'll talk a little bit more about, you know, some OP attack strategies, the meta and all that sort of thing. Today, we're focused on this Town Hall 12, picking up the massive loot and having a good time doing it. I gotta tell you, it's funny because I just finished farming that nine up to 10 and we are doing that series as well if you're staying tuned the town hall 10 farming series versus klaus from klaus gaming is ongoing and you will see more episodes of that very very soon as well uh, but getting back to see what did i say about getting distracted getting back to what i was talking about so i went to poland met a bunch of great people and uh, i was super sick it was such bad timing i actually got sick the morning i was supposed to leave and if you know about flying, you know you're not supposed to fly if you're congested. Oh my gosh, it was so bad. It was really bad. I lost uh, my almost all hearing in my left ear for like uh, the entire time I was in Poland. I could not hear out of my left ear very well. I didn't really tell anybody about that one. It was, it was rough. And uh, the first day that I streamed, if you watched the streams, you probably know that I did not sound right. I did not feel right and I didn't sound right. My voice is like 90% right now. It's recovered almost all the way. It's still not quite 100%. I'm still a little bit congested and uh, yeah, Friday was the worst. And then Saturday I was much better, but I was still definitely sick. And then Sunday 
I felt like maybe 80%. I felt a lot better on Sunday and was able to bring you guys a little bit more excitement on Sunday, which was good because Team Queso made it super exciting. Actually, all the clans did amazing attacks, amazing bases, and excited to share that stuff with you guys in coming episodes. So back once again to this account. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, we're, we're, we're still farming here and we're picking up the three star after the three star. Just decided it would be fun to push up to about Champion League or so. Not really trying to push trophies yet per se, but let's go ahead and build the progress base. That's right. The Town Hall 12 worst rushed progress base that kind of gives us an uh, idea of what is upgraded what is yet to be upgraded and what is maxed out so the way that i did this when i was going through town hall 9 is anything above the walls anything that's to the left of the walls is max level so as you can see right now yeah that that's that there's not a lot this is going to be a long road i hope you guys are here for the long run because this is not an overnight project, and I'm not intending it to be that way either. Uh, I mean, obviously, we could dump a few grand into it or whatever and max everything out, but that would, you know, be against the whole philosophy of let's at least work somewhat, okay? Somewhat. I didn't say completely, but, you know. All right. So we've got the lab. We've got, let's see here, a lot of walls, man. The lab is maxed out. There we go. The lab is maxed out. I mean, my camps aren't even maxed out. You know, my, my Teslas aren't maxed out, but I will tell you, that I have a plan for this base. And the idea is I'm not going to necessarily go straight with what you should upgrade first. Okay, the, the reason being is because I'm warring and I'm finding that I'm having an awful lot of fun in these wars when attackers think that they can triple this base and then they run into a trolled, trapped town hall. And what I mean by that is I am maxing out my traps, I'm maxing out my hidden Teslas, and we are building an ominous Town Hall trap, so most players will not pick that up. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to get rid of, this is the part where I got rid of all my level 1 defenses. We went ahead and gemmed out the Archer Towers, the Cannons as well, you know, tired of everything being baby level 1. And then we worked our way through the mortars. And see, there's a certain point where I go, okay, wait a minute, 79 gems. Yeah, let's just wait right here. You know, and so again, I'll spend some gems, but I try not to just be careless with the gems. I want to stretch them out and make them last. So, all right, here we are. Nine days left in the season at this point of recording. So we've come a couple of days. You can see that we're almost to the magic number, which is 2,600. That's where we need to get to unlock the Barbarian King's gladiator skin because we all know that it gives you that huge buff of what is is it hit points damage i can't oh yeah that's right nothing yeah yeah nothing okay so here we go 2500 we're almost there and we've got some more perks some rewards that we can pick up the season bank that's going to obviously help us a lot at the end of the season excited to use all of that loot uh, i guess i should have picked up those sooner shovel of obstacles not really a big fan uh, on this account, but power potions will help out and let's see. Yeah, I can't pick up the stuff on the bottom because I'm already uh, maxed out with elixir. So I guess I got to spend some of it. Okay, so back to the progress base. This again is a little bit further in the future. We went ahead and started the expos working, but that's never quite as exciting as upgrading a hero. So level 15 Grand Warden, here we go. This time we do spend the gems and we drop 500 gems to finish out an expo and upgrade the warden. Going to go ahead and upgrade the archer queen shortly too. We want to get her to 35. Just taking a look at what I've got for magic items. And uh, we've got enough books of heroes so we went ahead and finished the warden rather than using the gems. And then popped the archer queen up one more level and a book for her. She's at 32. The king's at 27. I'm kind of waiting to get the Archer Queen to 35, get her next level of her ability, and then we'll work on the King coming back up. Now, obviously, we also have some other level 1 defenses, not the Inferno Towers, not that Tesla, but yeah, these mortars need to go to level 2, just, just so that we can say, hey, I don't have any level 1. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Crud. Okay. Fine. Okay, so yeah, we went ahead and... <laughs> And, and finish those up as well because it's just, you know, there's pride in being all level 2 base, right? Level 2, let's go. Uh, let me hear it from you if you're level 2. Okay, so uh, how about another raid? Check it out. We had some pretty amazing numbers. Again, facing a lot of 12s 
and uh, you know hitting the dead bases i feel like this is actually a pretty sweet spot right here around master one champion three like champion three to master two is a pretty good level you find some tough bases and i do pass a lot of bases but we're finding some pretty huge offers and with these high level loons minions and yes i bring wall breakers to these raids that you know i learned that from doing the town hall nine farming because it seemed to help there They've been pretty much useless, I have to admit. The wall breakers have been all but useless uh, ever since I've hit this account and started to use Alunian. But I do also insist that you don't really need to bring a Lava Hound or two. I'm saving my Dark Elixir to upgrade the King and Queen more quickly, and it's working out. I mean, check out those numbers, yo. Those are some serious numbers. And yes, speaking of, remember, it's a trolled, trapped, whatever you want to call it, Town Hall Enclosure at War. So we're working on the Giga Tesla. I want to get it to level 5. I want that thing big and nasty and mean. And I want it to hurt attackers in the area. So that was pushed up the list of priorities. Even higher than finishing the next level clan castle. Just because I wanted that Giga Tesla maxed out as soon as possible. And holy cow, I just realized this episode is starting to get kind of long, man. So uh, if you fast forward through it, I'll totally understand. You're not going to miss much except for me maybe, you know, spending some more gems here and there. Uh, this will fast forward through another attack. This was pretty impressive because check the numbers. Over 1 million of each. And despite the fact that it was a pretty tough Town Hall 12, we went for it and just thought, you know, maybe we could pick up a couple million in loot and sure enough it worked out pretty well because again like i said the loons the spells like the rage spell are pretty high level and my heroes are they're still kind of squishy I'll, I'll say it's definitely not the same as having maxed out heroes uh man these these 2732 king and queen are nothing compared to the 50 something or the maxed out heroes and they go down fast when they run into high level defenses but in this case check out the loot we almost almost got everything i mean we came really close and got over 2 million in loot plus 400k for the bonus and not a lot of dark elixir but that's okay we don't mind we're just focused on stuff in general and if you remember talking to klaus elixir fixes rushes and uh, so here's another raid that was another 1.7 million plus the loot bonus pushed us over 2 million and so we, w we did go ahead and max out the camps because that's important, right? Troop space, that would be one that I would advise other players that were asking. That's something you want to do early. You want to do your camps. You want to have as much attacking power as you possibly can. I, I waited a little bit longer to do my camps. And finally now we're going to go ahead and do the clan castle. So we've got some key things working right here. We've got the clan castle, we've got the town hall going up to level 4. We're working on miners, even though, you know, I haven't used miners to farm. I use miners only for like 3 star war type stuff. Queen charge miner, that queen just not, you know. Come on, I'm used to level 60 queen walk, queen charge, queen healer, or what do they say in China? They call it the angel queen. I didn't know that. Somebody told me in the comments in China, they call the queen walk the angel queen. I thought that was a very cool name. Okay. So we've got the queen, we're working her way up towards 35, and as you can see, again, trying to draw the line at spending tons of gems. I don't want to have to go back and buy another big pack. I'd rather buy special offers. Let's go. Here we go. Uh, $2.99, $4.99, and $9.99, and 1999. So like I said, we'll keep track. We'll write these down, and I will total this all up at the end of the episode but this would be the second set of packs that I bought here. And again, I mean, you know, who can turn down that big, bright 5x value or four times value or three times value? You know, the books we can use later and the gold, even the potions will help out. So in the long run, I think that we're getting a pretty fair value out of these. And uh, yeah, oh, you've got the subscribe to Galadon base going on right there. I'm a fan. I like that base. I think that's kind of a sweet setup right there. Okay. Gold territory. So I think this one appeared maybe a week or so before the season ended. Uh, you know, you'll notice that when you buy the big offers that the tailored offers show up. So they, you know, they know that you're a gemmer. They know that you're a spender. So you end up getting some pretty good offers. And uh, of course, you if you don't know, you can turn these off in your settings. 
If you click on settings and then more settings, you can actually turn off customized offers so you don't have to see these, so they don't have to rub it in your face if it's something that you're never going to buy or you just don't want. So, okay. Here we are, and again, okay, so this was about a week and a day before the season ended. We're at 2,540. We are just a couple of challenges away from obtaining the Gladiator King, and, oh, okay, we got that one as well, 2560, 2580, so close, just not quite there. Gotta go out and raid for another day or so, and we came back, and we'll have that King in just a moment. And then, oh yeah, also I kind of got impatient again. I'm like level two, that's not enough. I want level three stuff. So we went and ran through a bunch of the defenses again. All in a row here makes it easy. And again, it was only 10 gems to finish the upgrade. We had the loot, so we just ran through. Again, I'm not gemming. I will never purchase the resources. I will do the time, but I won't do the crime. I mean, no, I'll do the... You know what I mean, yeah. So I won't gem resources, but we'll gem time, and of course we will buy the resources if they show up in the shop. So wizard towers, archer towers, cannons, all up to level three, and even the mortars. So we kind of went on a bit of a gem spree here. You can see we spent about 10K gems in the past 10 days. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be expensive. I, oh man, or whatever. All right, so the base, Starting to look a little bit. No, it's not. It's still looking pretty pitiful. I admit it. Okay, but here we go. We got it We finally got past 2600 with the challenges. It is time to pick up our gladiator king uh, Which is kind of anticlimactic uh, Because I already had it on my main account. So this is like uh, Whatever, but for those of you that earned this I think it is very cool if you grind your way through all of the challenges and unlock that stuff uh, you can see here I had a full storage for wall rings, full storage for Book of Heroes. That was kind of a bummer. We ended up having to sell that stuff for gems, which was a little bit disappointing. But again, it was because we had bought all of the offers that were showing up in the shop. And uh, yes, we maxed out the season bank. That is super sweet as well. Oh, oh, speaking of offers. Hey, I think it's about that time again, isn't it? Yep, here we go. And then these showed up near the end of the season. Uh, some spring-based, some seasonal style uh, packages and again really good values four times value all the way up to I believe it was seven times value for a spring battle so yeah we uh, bought all of them all we bought them all we, we didn't hold back so let's go ahead and run through this as we buy all of these packages right here 199 299 499 999 and of course we couldn't resist and pick up the last $19.99 package so pretty much just as the season went by we picked up every single package that we could and it's about that time as we're just getting ready to wrap things up i know i never stopped talking i realize this is kind of ground on to be a long episode i hope you don't mind and uh, okay so the archer queen we finally did get her to level 35 right near the end of the season we use the book of heroes because i hate being without an archer queen and we are just about ready for the status report all right here we go Total spent $228.83 and total amount of time spent that would be raiding and of course sitting here upgrading, organizing things. Now we are up to 6 hours and 35 minutes. My goals for future episodes continue to troll around the town hall building up those hidden Teslas and other defenses that can specifically protect my town hall in wars. All right, you guys, as always, thank you so much for sticking around. I know it was a long episode. I hope you're still here. If you are, Blizzle first in the comments. Have a great day. Get out there. Be kind to other people, animals, of the planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Gallington, don't buy gyms, just buy gym boxes.